Hey guys, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about Napoleon. So, talking about the historical accuracies of this film won't be the strength into this review that I'm going to be talking about. But, what I will say, I do think the film has an interesting uh, perspective of Napoleon and during the French Revolution, how he conquered and from nothing to what, he, you know, he became one of the greatest conquerors and empires of the world. So, this was a very interesting movie to watch. So, what I could say about this film is, I think there is um, some good things about this film, I would say. So, some of the good points I want to give, first and foremost, I think Zhao Can Phoenix and Vanessa Kirby's performances were the standout. I think they definitely delivered their scripts very well and tried to bring the movie up, but... I will say some of the writing wasn't great. Now, knowing Napoleon was a emperor and how much power he and influence he really had, um, I don't think the movie really delivered that. I think they made Napoleon in this movie very stiff as a character and so much that he just really mostly contemplated about Josephine, which is really, really a... Thing that I wasn't really founded with the direction. I think that's kind of mostly a criticism of Ridley Scott's direction with this movie, and I'm gonna kind of point those things out. So, so that's one aspect I'm gonna kind of criticize with this film. There are a, a few flaws into this movie, but the good things I will point out: the performances of Zhao Can Phoenix and Vanessa Kirby. I think some of the editing in this movie is actually pretty decent. I think they do get some of the shots and the war scenes very, very well of, you know, the French army versus the British army or other armies as well, like the Russian and Egyptians as well. They did that very, very well and how the, the French Empire would, you know, conquer and, and you know, fight as well. So they really do get some of those scenes well now talking about the other things about this film the flaws i think the problems are there are a, there are lots of plot gaps with this movie that don't really explain so much of the um motivation of napoleon and i think they really lack the substance in doing that now i think a lot of these criticisms do go back to ridley scott's direction with this movie which i think is very bloated and I don't think a lot of the times it was as well edited and well scripted as it could be. So I think some of the scripts that the actors would have had with this movie, I don't think they could deliver more from their performances that they really could because they left so much um, gaps in the, in the story that left unexplained really about what Napoleon did, you know, the explanations of how these wars and conquers would have happened. They, they weren't really... Um, well narrated so those are some of the, the problems i would have with this movie but overall i think most of the things that they do tr try to achieve with this movie is actually good now despite the historical accuracies although people will talk about it i don't know much about that so i wouldn't know so much to really go into the deeps of it but i think a lot of the acting and even some of the uh, the visuals and the action were good i don't think they went to i think they could have gone more into the action and some of the fights a lot more to really add more emphasis but if that, that was really like my only point i would really will talk about the action in this movie but i think those are some of the good things i could really talk about this film now the flaws would most likely be to some of the writing and maybe some of the the scripts and the production in some of the scenes like s most of the um the cinematics of how the story progresses in its writing i think those are some of the flaws i would have there are some plot gaps in this film that are left unscathed that they don't really tackle the deeps of um napoleon's story and his uh his conquer uh, to the emperor of france that he is i think they really lack the substance when it comes to that so overall, if I have to rate Napoleon, I'm probably going to give this movie a 6.5 out of 10. 
I think it does more things good than it could do, but I just don't really think that what really Scott delivered was a movie that I really would have thought really made this movie like Napoleon, the powerful character that he is and the powerful person he was. I really think they really lacked that, um, lacked the mark with, really missed the mark with that. So I think overall with this movie, you would criticize a lot of the decisions with that movie in terms of the writing, the script, and some of its production value. But I think for a movie that does deliver some good performances as Zhao Kun Phoenix does in this movie, and also Vanessa Kirby does really well as well as playing Josephine. I, But I think even despite those things, it, it will, I don't think it was really enough to really excel this movie that it could have done, which is a shame. But I think this movie will have mixed response to people, whether they like it or not. I mean, depending on how historically accurate you would have expected this movie to be, I think that's always going to be questions with that. But anyways, I, that's that's it for my review of this movie. Please like, comment, subscribe, dislike if you want to dislike. And yeah, that's about it. See you later.